Hello everybody and welcome to this small demonstration of my latest creation which is based on the spider GPS system by Etho who is a, a very clever guy so uh, link in the doobly doo to his original video which uh, shows the design of this system to track the players movements using spiders now the only problem with his system was that the uh, the floor it would o it would only demonstrate the player's location to the player itself. No, there was no way to remotely monitor the player's movements. Or be an evil genius. <clears throat> yeah, or be an evil genius. So I was watching the video and I thought you sh really should be able to make evil genius spaces with this and. I uh, took my inspiration for this design from LED matrix displays which work on exactly the same principle they have uh, a set of pins for their rows and a set of pins for their columns and if you power uh, one set and allow power to come out of the second set then the uh, corresponding LED lights up uh, in this case you're powering, sending power down both lines to light up the corresponding cell on the display board and it's uh, fully scalable as well so you can increase the uh, spacing between the pressure plates that the spiders walk on while maintaining display size <coughs> and that will increase the amount of area that is displayed on a single display which could be very useful a because it reduces the amount of redstone lamps etc and therefore reduces the amount of lag that could be possible but it also means that you can fit them into a smaller space now, and you can have massive PvP worlds <laughs> you can expand this system <laughs> because it's completely modular you can remove this glass here on this side and as you can see there's repeaters on the bottom to allow you to quickly and simply probably using MC edit extend the pad this direction and then extend the screen in this direction as well because if you just look over here the screen is also repeated uh, the only things you would need to add are these buses here which d uh, transfer the power and these can be much much longer this is just this size for demonstration purposes these displays um, could be hundreds of blocks away of course the only limitation being that the server might start to unload chunks or uh, your minecraft world might start to unload chunks and therefore you um, would not get the power transferred the whole distance and nothing would show on the dis display now the basic principle is one of an AND gate or a NAND gate in fact because when the two uh, inputs are off the main output turns on now we can demonstrate this here which this is the basic system behind the device if I turn off this line here and also this one at the back here and you can see that the corresponding cell uh, lights up. The only problem with this design, and it's the same problem that occurs in all LED matrix displays, is that if you turn off more than one segment, you can't display more than one segment at once, basically. Because it will start to light up uh, the incorrect cells because it's a coordinate space system so for example if I just pretend that someone has stood in the I'll, I'll stand here. It's okay. red area <coughs> that cell will light up but if someone was also stood on the blue area you get four points of light instead of just two because it's deactivating the incorrect cells Th which is why this system is 
really only best for tracking one player's movement at a time. To help demonstrate this, I've uh, got with me a friend. Uh, Hello. Another Jay. So say hi to the boys and girls, Johnny. Hello. <laughs> right, I so he's going to be the one moving around so that we can demonstrate this. So, if you can do some moving around for us. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> with my lovely render distance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you've got a laptop, this may not serve your computer too well. But as you can I see, as he moves around, it tracks him. Just so you know, I can't see the screen. I've got everything switched off. <laughs> okay, so we can see there it's tracking him. Now what's happening is, if you just stand still for us a moment, Working what's happening on it. is there is a spider underneath and it's tracking him. And it stands on the pressure plate, which turns on this line of redstone here. Same with this one, except this is in the other direction. <laughs> so many creepers. <laughs> now, this means that a line on the bus is deactivated. That means here, it's inverted, and it travels up this redstone tower. That disables all of the inputs on the back here, connected to the first input of the AND gate. The I think I've looked at an Enderman. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Just keep looking at him. <laughs> 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 the other, um, the other line comes up here, and it also travels along, and that comes up, and it goes along the top of the torch blocks, and that acts as the second uh, input of the AND gate. So, where those two lines cross, and both lines are deactivated, it allows the torch to come on, which turns on the redstone lamp. So if you can do some moving about for us, we'll watch it at the back here. Oh, I get within range of the redstone and instantly lag. It's lovely. <laughs> Now, for anyone running a fairly decent computer, it shouldn't be too big uh, of a deal. Unless Apparently, course, my computer's awful. <laughs> unless, of course, you're uh, planning to extend this in several directions, because the device is completely modular, which means that you can basically remove these glass walls that are just here, here and you, you need on all the edges, and then you can um, use... MC Edit, which is uh, now used as Anvil, and you can extend the pad along, and also the display along, and as well as that, you can extend the pad backwards and forwards, which also d extends the display up and down. Um, and you'd obviously need to connect them both with the buses to distribute the signal. So yeah, redstone mumbo jumbo. Yay! <laughs> the uh, buses are colour coded so that you can easily see what's going on. So this is my contribution to the world of redstone. If I just get myself a block of wood. You it's ready? Piece de resistance. It's not even yep. yours. Are you watching this? Yeah, I'm ready. For yeah, this. I stole this off Captain Sparkles, by the way. Ready? Link the doobly. It doesn't even work. <laughs> You've got it in the wrong well, place. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't understand. Tell you. <laughs> Should go there. Ah, okay. Yay! Can you tell who built who built this and who didn't. I'm a redstone genius. <laughs> Puts thumbs up. See you. Bye. <laughs>